السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم آفتاب عالم ذکریا مقادم فرام میکینیکل انجینئرنگ ڈپارٹمنٹ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سی امپورٹنٹ نیومریکل آن ڈیزائن آف سی کلیمپ ایز وی نو سی کلیمپ از اے کلیمپنگ ڈیوائس یوزڈ ان آٹو موبائل سیکٹرس دین ان ورک شاپس ان لیبورٹریز ٹو کلیمپ ہیوی آبجیکٹس سو اٹ نیڈس strengthen design in order to fulfill all the design criteria regarding its factor of safety so just have a look on this problem so here we have this question to design so statement is design a c clamp for drilling machine as shown in figure it is subjected to load of 30 kN if load line this is the load line and neutral axis of frame is at 180 mm apart the cross section of frame is rectangular the cross section is rectangular with width and thickness given in the proportion that is width is twice of thickness so here we have maximum stress given 150 mega pascal so now i am going to solve this question so first of all i will what write the given data in the solution so in solution we have p value as p is equal to 30 kilo newton so in order to convert it into newton we will multiply it by 10 raised to 3 newton so now the ratio of width and thickness so we have width is equal to v is equal to 2 times of t and given that maximum stress is equal to 150 that is maximum stress 150 mpa so we have to convert it into newton per mm square because it should be in millimeters now we have to start with step number 1 so in step number 1 as we know c clamp is under eccentric loading therefore it is subjected to what both direct and bending type of stresses now we will going to find direct stress it is denoted as sigma is equal to p divided by a where we have p value that is force and area for rectangular cross section b into t b is 2 times of t therefore 2 t into t therefore area is 2 t square so we will substitute value of force and area so force we have 30 into 10 raised to 3 divided by area 2 t square we will divide this by 2 and we will get the value of sigma 15 into 10 raised to 3 divided by t square in this way we have this one as equation number 
one. Next step number two. Step number two is bending stress. As we know, bending stress is given by sigma b is equal to m upon z, where m is equal to bending moment and it is given by P into E. We have both the values. P we have 30 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 180. Therefore, M is equal to 5.4 into 10 raised to 6. This is first one. That is bending moment. Then second one, we will find the value of Z. Z is nothing but section modulus. This section modulus for rectangular cross section is TB square by 6 since load is parallel to Y axis now we will find the value of bending stress sigma b by substituting z d b square by 6 since b is 2 p therefore z is equal to t into 2 times of t whole bracket square by 6 therefore z is equal to 4 t square by 6 so z is equal to 0 0.667 into t cube so finally we will find out what is bending stress by substituting m and z so m value we have moment value we already found 5.4 into 10 raised to 6 upon 0 0.667 t cube and we will term this as equation number 2 Then in last step we will find out maximum stress and maximum stress sigma maximum is found out as sigma plus sigma b. So sigma max is again written as sigma we have found out already in equation number one then sigma b in equation number two so we will now substitute value of all 150 as sigma max in equation number one we have 15 into 10 raised to 3 divided by t square plus 5.4 into 10 raised to 6 upon t cube so now we will solve this upon solving this equation we found t to be 38.6 now we will make it in round figure approximately in design we can make two even number next even number that is approximately 40 mm and finally we will find what is the value of b 
that is 2t so 2 into 40 and we got the answer as 80 mm now we will write the final answers B is equal to 80 mm and T is equal to 40 mm. In this way, we have solved this important numerical for rectangular cross section with dimensions B and T.